Alright, what's up? So today we are back with another video. This is going to be Alexan an Alexander Volkanovsky showcase for his uh, fight on UFC 273, which is a couple days after the fact now. But I wanted to do it because, you know, of his great performance that he had against Chan Sung Jung. We'll be taking on Kezalan this one. Uh, top 5 ESFL competitor, I want to say. You know, for many a number one contender. I've been very close to the toilet shot, so definitely will make for a fun match he's gonna be using TKZ like the real fight and yeah I mean what performance by uh, Volkanovski I really like Volkanovski but I think I was pulling for TKZ in this one just for the fact you know it would have been really nice to see him get a title shot try and use some of his uh, you know inside leg kicks like he does in real life use that jab like he was using in the fight I mean that jab was lightning quick that he was using Kez returning with his own leg kicks though. Get that teeth out there. Try and put that jab in his face. <laughs> returning with my own strikes here. She tries to spin him back this me, but yeah, like I said, I was pulling for a zombie, I think, just because would have been a nice little story, zombie. Get the toilet shot would have been very Glover to share esque. You know, but don't get to see that fairy tale story this time around. And uh, I think that will be Chan Sung Jung's last uh, title shot. Definitely didn't look in the fight at any part of point of it too, which was quite disappointing. I had a feeling Zombie would get the win, but it was fucking... Yeah, I, I don't know, I'll never bet against Volk again. He That man just seems to be improving literally every second. Oh, beautiful. But yeah, like I said, Volk. Oh, got some good damage there. Hit him with the... Done some really good leg damage using that laid calf kick, which I think... Oh, bit of lag. But yeah, using that laid calf kick... Obviously, Volks is a five star for what he done to Holloway in his fights with him. Nice jab hook. Oh, accidentally threw out the wrong combo. Oh, is this it? Already. Oh, great survival skills, boy. Yeah. Kez and TKZ is not going to be anyone to be put away easily. Taking away that base though, and luckily we have really, really, really good cardio with Chan uh, with Volkanovski, so we can keep the pace up, and uh, until you know we get a finish, or hopefully he doesn't get one. But yeah, until we get a finish or decision or even submission. But oh, that is unlikely. More likely of us getting KO'd right now. Nice check. Switch back to his orthodox stance, even though he was uh, switching in between stances in the real fight. I believe, anyways, could be thinking of uh, the Chumoy Evan Bourne's one. We are tearing up that leg right now. Front kick, jab hook. Oh, get the drop. Very reminiscent to the real fight, getting drops and everything. You know, drops in plenty. But yeah, good fight so far. Depending on how quickly this ends and the zombie wants to survive, then uh, we will do another one. Oh, that would have probably block glitched. Cares, I could just tell after I threw it. Oh, how do we not get the rock there? I was trying to jab up his block so he was forced to use head movement and then get the leg kick rock off and then go back up top again but unfortunately unable to get that rock trying to put the pressure on me with them jabs oh all right out of range with these can't get too desperate with these leg kicks beautiful check by him though even when rocked he's ballsy and smart enough oh can we finally get the finish Oh my god, fair play, fair play. But yeah, 
I think the next step for Volkanovski is to go to uh, and fight Holloway for the tour time and end off that little series with him. Well, no series. Uh, oh, there we go. Finally, yeah, that was a. Uh, it was just a bad start from Kez and hard to overcome, as uh, <laughs> Volkanovski's celebration says. Especially against somebody like Volk, you know, you never really want to go down in a fight against Volk with his great cardio, great chin, great power. He can just really keep it on you and uh, increase the gap. Beautiful finish, though. Yeah, but I think um, that he will be Holloway a tour to him, and I think it'll be obviously. I don't think he can ever replicate that first one because I feel like he just caught Holloway by surprise, and Holloway was really underprepared for his actual game plan. I feel as though uh, you know Holloway just expected to kind of mow through him. Oh, a nice interesting matchup here with Aldo. But yeah, I think Holloway just expected, you know, another uh, little, you know, stocky, powerful guy that he can uh, walk out in the later rounds, you know, like he uh, would with Frankie and fight other fighters. Um, But yeah, not the case. But I do think, like I said, Holloway is going to get worked in the toward fight. I also think that Volk will then go up to lightweight, and I think he may take a, take his first loss in years in lightweight. I just don't think, um, you know, he's a big stocky guy, but he is only five foot six, and I know Edgar done wonders at, um, you know, being five foot six in lightweight, but just have to think them lightweights are big boys now you're not competing against BJ Penns competing against Charles Oliveira's and Justin Gaethje's you know it'll be interesting I guess to see him and Connor go at it even you know if um oh that is the next move putting the hands on me right now even going down to the legs definitely not gonna be leg kicking too much this one Oh, get. Oh, I didn't even mean to throw this back fist. That was meant to be a double hook and accidentally pressed RB on the second. Oh, risky, but. Oh, beautiful jump on back kick. Oh, nice oblique when I'm coming in, too. Just out of range. Catches him on the hair of his beard. Or the chin, hair of his chin. I don't even know what I'm saying. Oh, beautiful. Ah, you bastard. Uh, Kez had to try and get me with a respect. I seen, I knew as soon as he kind of took a pause what was coming next. <laughs> I do appreciate the attempt though. That is really even up the fight for me. Yeah, shouldn't be trying to leg kick there, just giving away unnecessary leg health or head health. Intense fight. Oh, kick him off though. Oh, beautiful. We survived, but by the skin of our teeth, gonna need some adjustments here, but it might be too little too late as we're getting dropped pretty easy now. Find ourselves into the, oh, and not, no, I tried to survive into the next round, but he caught me beautifully. What a fight. I got back and forth on there. At least it didn't take too long. Kez takes me out of there at the end of the first round, but lots of fun. And yeah, good showcase, I'd like to say. You know, like I said, with these showcases, I don't want to just be fighting bums on rank and, you know, uh, getting, you know, clean fights and all. I want to be in there. I want to have some good competitive fights to show off. And uh, I think that's what we've done, especially with that one there running around with Jose, nicely done, nice finish by Kez, and yeah, good showcase all around, um, but yeah, that'll be me, if you've liked the video, I'd like it be appreciated, and if you haven't already subscribed, you much recommend it, you do so, and yeah, appreciate yourself for watching once again, peace out.